Good morning, Dunecrest American School. I hope you're having a fabulous day and welcome back to school. I'm so glad you're here. It's going to be a beautiful day and I can't wait to see all the learning that we're going to do. Jerusalem y cayala mi y lo no lo sé uh ambenami su mangishila na Jerusalem y cayala mi y lo no lo sé uh ambenami su mangishila na dao Good morning, Dunkest American School! When you were very small and learning to walk, everyone around you was very encouraging. They probably said things like, Come on, you can do it! With all that encouragement from others, learning to walk was much easier. No matter how old we are, whether we are 2 years old or 80 years old, we all need encouragement from those around us. We need to be encouraged to be the best we can be. Now listen to these words from Gerto, a German literature genius. If you treat a man as he is, he will stay as he is. But if you treat him as if he were what he ought to be and could be, he will become that bigger and better man. Today let's give you each other enthusiastic words of support let's expect only the best from ourselves and each other. If Gerto is right, we can all be bigger and better people with a little encouragement. Make it a great day or a fantastic day. The choice is yours. At Dunkers American School, we are about raising students' achievements every day, every way. Bye! <laughs> stop that play tell right there and the reason for it is next week i'm going to give you a warning a heads up a big warning yield sign and that is next week starts not the fairy tale week but the big ziggest loser week and what that means is all the teachers are we have a competition on who gets to lose the most weight of course i am going to win however you're going to see a lot of grumpy people. So like if your teacher's a little bit crazy, it's because they're all on diets. They're drinking water instead of Coke. They're cutting out coffee out of their diet. Just cut them some slack. After a few days, everything will settle down. It'll be, it'll be much better. Now back to our fairy tale. Exciting times this week because it is bus and car safety week. We're going to wear that seat belt. We're going to tell mom and dad to slow it down. We're going to arrive to school early because we don't want to have to rush. This week, Bus and Car Safety Week, let's earn some house points by wearing that seatbelt. Let's ride the bus. Every morning, the three of us wait together to catch the bus. This is where I always stand and hold on to my daddy's hand. We stay back from the curb until the bus is stopped completely still. A sign pops out when it stops. A red light flashes on its top. When the door opens wide, I look both ways and step inside. We get on slowly, one by one. This is not a time to run. Use the handrail, it is not a race, to find a special sitting place. When everyone is sitting down, the bus starts rolling into town. I sit quietly in my seat and watch the traffic on the street. When we stop at a red light, I don't get up, I just sit tight. 
The bus stops at school, and I know when the door opens, it's time to go. We step off slowly, one by one. This is not a time to run. I check for traffic and walk away. It's time to have a great school day. Beep, beep, beep. Yes, it's granddaughter alert time. What did my granddaughter do today? And of course, we have another Bailey sighting. We have a Bailey. And an important newscast. This just in, very important news. What happens when dinosaurs drive cars? Again, important news segment here. What happens when dinosaurs drive cars? What happens? Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> grade six would like to inform you that you're the greatest man alive. exciting time because we will start our map testing so students if you have not updated the map app to the most current version please do that today if you need help mr. Alex can come to help you obviously your teacher can help you too and we want to make sure that we're doing this remember with the map test the more questions you get right the harder it makes each question so as you're taking the test go slow be calm. Obviously, we're going to do our best. We know you're going to do well on this. And uh, we use these MAP test scores to first to help you decide where you're going to go to college and, and help you with your curriculum and your instruction to prepare for that. And it's a great way to show us where you're at. So we want to, again, go slow, answer every question the best that you can, and I know you're going to do a great job. All right, I need a couple of people to volunteer to do something. Let's see here. How about grade one, uh, Mia, in grade one, I want you to stand up. Go ahead. Stand up, Mia. Grade one, Mia. And how about Malik in grade five? Grade five, Malik, stand up. There we go. So today, Mia, is her birthday and Malik's birthday is on Saturday, so we'd like to recognize them for this now and sing to both of you. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mia and Malik. Happy birthday to you. And for the singing of our national anthem.
with some fabulous singing doing Chris America School. Now, let's get back down to our learning. Have a fabulous day at school.